Good morning. It is time to skip the BS. It's time for Undisputed. It's time for me and Keyshawn Johnson to decide if LeBron's Lakers, with the 11th best odds to win the West, can and will get to the NBA Finals, even if they run into the defending champ Nuggets, their nemesis in the first round. The Lakers did win Friday night in Memphis, barely, then yesterday in New Orleans, dominantly, and now as the eighth seed, they're staying in New Orleans for another game against the Pelicans. This one, a 7-8 play-in game. Win and the Lakers get the Nuggets in the first round. Yep, the same Nuggets who swept them in last year's conference finals and who have won eight straight against the Lakers. Anthony Davis did suffer some back spasms late in yesterday's game, but he and Darvin Ham say he should be fine for Tuesday night, which is mostly why the Lakers are favored by one point. If they lose, they'll get a second chance in L.A. against the winner of Golden State at Sacramento. The 9-10 game played right after the Lakers' 7-30 Eastern game on TNT tomorrow night. Now that we got all that straight, good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Skip. How are you, sir? Good. And happy playoffs to you and your Lakers. <laughs> play so, in. Happy play <laughs> in. Happy play in. So after what you saw on Friday night and what you saw yesterday, scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like your Lakers' chances of winning the West? I, I would say a, a seven, and it increases as they continue to go. Okay. When you look at yesterday, I go to yesterday because Friday was several days. And, look, the Memphis game, Memphis came out to play. I think the Lakers may have taken it a little lightly, thinking that they were just going to lay you down. Mean the Memphis G League team that played on Friday night. <laughs> yes, yes, that th team. That team. Yeah. The Lakers probably took them a little lightly, but they got out of there with a W, and that's they did. all that really mattered. Yep. Now, yesterday, they played like they were supposed to play. Although Anthony Davis left the game, the game was in full control. When he hurt his back, we were in control. We never surrendered the league. It was always, we were just rolling. I mean, we were knocking down shots left to right. We were defending. We were playing. LeBron on Zion, neutralizing him in that situation. He so did. I, I just want to get to the Denver Nuggets. As all, I said this for the... You said it. I've said it for a couple you, weeks you now. You wanted them early, not later. You want them early and yeah. not late. Because yeah. if you look at it and you go back a couple weeks, Skip, the Lakers have been playing pretty good basketball. They went on a road trip. They went 5-1 and one on that road trip, losing to the... Uh, losing the long game that they Indy, lost was Indy. Indy. Yep. Okay, then they came home, and they kind of sort of took care of business at home. And then we went back on the road, and we took care of business on the road. Now, we stand on the road in New Orleans. There is no travel, so there's an extra day of care, so to speak, that you can give Anthony Davis to the spasms in his mm -hmm. back, whatever they might do, whether it's massage or ultrasound or shock treatment, whatever it is that he needs the rest. Yep. He doesn't have to get on a plane. So he'll be in a hotel room getting the necessary 24-hour care that he needs. Now you take care of the Pelicans, and now Denver drops in your lap. And you sit there, and everybody, I'm just listening to, as they like to call it, the pundits out there in the world. Yeah. It's, it's almost like it's a Laker-LeBron hate. Like, they want the Lakers to run from the Denver Nuggets. They, oh, you should drop down to the AC, so maybe you get the OKC instead. Nobody's, they're not manipulating it like that. You mess around and you lose messing around, talking about, well, we want to avoid Denver. No, we're fresh. This is not the Western Conference final of a year ago. Even LeBron James in his post game yesterday, because I typically don't listen to post game. Game's over, I turn and move on to something else. But for some reason, I was waiting around for the Dodger game to come on, so I was listening to LeBron in the post game. And he talked about feeling a lot better this time, body-wise. He did. He made time. that statement. He volunteered. Yes. I feel better than yes. I did a year ago right now. Yes. Okay. So when I heard that, first thing I did, my ears just shot up. Said, okay, yep. see, this is what I'm talking about, Skip. Okay. Getting to Denver is the most important thing, not avoiding Denver. Mm -hmm. I understand that they beat us eight consecutive times. and I, That's cool. But they didn't beat us eight consecutive seven-game series. They no. beat us in one-offs. No. Now, let's see if we could play better than we did the last six or so minutes of the games in last year's Western Conference Final against Denver. I like our chances, though. We get past Denver, then we, we, we get past Denver, now you got them Suns or, them, or the Minnesotas, the Clippers, the Mavs, and even the Thunder. Denver is supposed to be our nemesis. If we get past them, 
you can cash our check. We're going to the finals. Really? Okay. Absolutely. That's it. Done deal. So you're saying if we get the, past the, con Denver, the conference finals would effectively come first. Yes. Right. Yes, that is correct. Because then you'd get the winner of Dallas and the Clippers. Mavericks have been the hottest team in the NBA. You sure about that one? But I think one? the Clippers. But I think the Clippers will beat the Mavs. And okay. For whatever reason, this season we own the Clippers. This season, and I don't think we will be. You know, because you got to think. We're going to have, well, they'll have they'll have home court advantage because they got the better seed if we see the Clippers, right, in the seven-game series. But guess what, Skip? Okay. It's really not their home. It'll it be not. our home. Yep. Even in the home games, for them, it it'll be Laker be. fans, okay? Agreed. <laughs> it'll be Laker fans. And by the way, yesterday in New Orleans, it looked like a Laker home game to me because all the seats I could see down close – Oh, at Laker least fans. half of them were, at least half were Laker fans. I never seen anything like it, and I'm going to assume Tuesday night will be even more pro Lakers because this one really counts. Not well, that that star, one didn't. Star power brings a lot okay. of that out. So I want to point out that Keyshawn Johnson, lifelong Laker fan, growing up out here in Los Angeles, just said that Denver will then drop in your lap. That's how you put that. Drop in your lap. Yeah. We're not running from. Them. Okay, if the Nuggets are watching, we're going to drop in your lap. Not that you're not going to drop in our lap because no. they've won eight straight games against you. Okay. You good cool. with that? I'm okay, but that those games are in the regular season or la or you count you count regular season, you count into the Western all, Conference. All. Yeah, the Western Conference final was a year ago, Skip. LeBron James out of his own mouth, as you just said, said he's a whole lot better than he was That's what at he this said. point a year ago. Okay. You gotta take the man for it, you gotta take him for his word. You can't just Say, well, that's just what he's saying to be saying it. Okay. You don't think Mike Malone has listened to that and was like, oh, okay, I'm your daddy. Okay. That's what he said. Okay. He said that. And you, don't think, and you don't think LeBron remembers that? They better remember that, but they didn't remember it during the regular season this year because they wreaked no revenge. And the last time they played on March the 2nd out here in Los Angeles, it was same song, eighth verse, because I saw it happen again. Lakers are up. Two points with four minutes left, and Denver goes on a crazy run. What was it down the stretch? They, they won by 10 points, so they just blew them off the floor over the last four minutes. It happened again. It happens every time I watch these two teams play. Nobody for the Lakers can close. LeBron, who named somebody, Austin Reeves, AD, nobody can close. All right. I want to speak on what I saw yesterday at New Orleans because New Orleans was coming off a huge win at Golden State on Friday night that put them in position to knock off the Lakers and move up another seed, move out of the play-in. Keyshawn, I know you watched yesterday. Your team looked like the best team I've seen all year yesterday. In that one game, in that one building against that team, you annihilated the New Orleans Pelicans, who of late have played high-level quality basketball. It was a mismatch. You, you dominated the way I'm, I haven't seen many teams dominate all year, including the Celtics. And this was a game that really mattered, obviously, to both teams. What I saw was LeBron James said, OK, watch this, because to your point, he came out and took Zion and LeBron's much taller than Zion, He's at least three, maybe four inches taller. Yeah, uh, Zion's like six, five ish, six, six ish, maybe. I might give him six, six, maybe. But obviously, LeBron doesn't weigh as much, but LeBron is as strong as Zion is. The or baby bull. It doesn't bulls. look like he weighs no, much. No, it, it doesn't. But, but the point was, he took Zion completely out of the game, and he didn't have him every trip down the floor, and he had some help. But Keyshawn, he held Zion, who usually makes like